100. Hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. Uh, looks like we are starting our winner's quarters matches. We got Kamame and Charlie the King happening right now. Kamame, man. I mean, we saw this dude, you know, a little bit all the time in Smash Wii U. You know, he would come to 2GG events all, all the freaking time, busting out his Mega Man. But now it's going to be Wario, mm -hmm. the, the, the new pick here. And this is the dude that actually has put on a lot of results. I wouldn't be shocked if this dude was like a top 10 maybe even a top five PGR player due to his results over in Japan. I mean, he's like the only other player besides Tweak and the MK Leo to ever win an S tier. Exactly, you know, yeah. Back in season one, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, he, he, he's definitely a threat. So let's see if Charlie DeKing, a local here in SoCal, is going to be able to put up some work. Mm -hmm. I think that this will be a very interesting match to see, only because um, this is... This was actually, this matchup in particular was one of the first ones where Charlie actually started getting his big break. It was at Arm Saga that he took out both uh, Kamehameha and someone else really <laughs> way back in the day. Listen, so. man, you can't just mention Arm Saga like that, <laughs> man. I, I, I love me some arms, man. Arms is nice, bro. Yeah, arms nice, man. All right, but here we go. Looks like Charlie actually not doing so bad. Actually went really aggressive to come back to the stage. It's actually working out for him. All right, I like that command grab around the platform, trying to bait out the shield a bit. You can be able to eat that bike in order to try to not only heal him a little bit, but also kind of reduce that little timer for that WAP to come in. A little bit, maybe going to come into play a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of factors for why you would like want to swallow the bike at that exact moment. Notice how Charlie DeKing's doing a lot of short hops here. He's, he's trying to go for these. Okay, there we go. Down tilt in the dash attack. Going to give him that little solid kill confirm. Down tilt for Mario is really good for like setting up his opponent for success. Mm -hmm. to, not for the opponent to get success, but for him to just like fall into oblivion. Yeah, he had the frame advantage too with that parry, so he was like, absolutely ready. He just knew that that's exactly what he was looking for. One he, parry into down tilt, you're dead. He was prepared. And I see Charlie DeKing trying to look for this kill right there, looking for a tech in place. We're trying to go for that down smash to claw his way to victory. Mm -hmm. And there is a really tricky move to have to deal with, right? Because it's a multi-hit from Wario, because it has like, that second hit as you fall down on the ground. Mm -hmm. so Charlie trying to get a parry afterwards. He's letting go of the shield because he knows if you get that parry, he can easily convert that into something big. But just like that, we have a waft ready to go. Kamami going for a huge punish. Going to be able to spot dodge right through that forward smash, get the kill, get him out of there, three stocks to one. Yeah, wolf smash attack is relatively safe sometimes, but you know, if you are too happy on the trigger, on a whiff, then you can easily get something off of it, especially with a hitbox as wide as that. Man, Charlie is fishing for this kill. You see these up smashes coming out. Mm -hmm. A third one, really? Yeah. I mean, if you have the reads, Wolf can kill really early, but if you don't, then sometimes it can be difficult. Nothing really stray is able to kill relatively like early, so you're going to have to rely on reading a jump into a back air or something like that, getting a smash attack after like something on safe on shield, but it's just not quite happening. Yeah, again, another up smash coming out, just not finding its mark. Kamehameha, honestly, at this point, is playing around it. He recognized that Charlie King is hungry for it. There we go. I like he finally mixed it up, goes for the nair, but fantastic DI coming out from Kamehameha. Going to get back onto the stage. Another waft starting to get charged bit by bit. Yeah, he's got to be careful Ooh. about it. These arrows already coming in. Finally, we see that back air able to close it out. So he just dragged him across PS2. Already has him at 75 damage. Still has another stock to play with. Goes for a little half waft. Send him off, 109%. Going to be able to set him up for success here with a down tilt. Maybe goes for a dash attack afterwards. We'll have to wait and see. Boy, it could be tricky. All right, she'll add a shield one more time. Try to catch him. That almost could have been in, actually, because... Oh, okay, Smack there it is. Smack him. Yeah. Smack that booty. Forward tilt. Always got to be careful about that. Reaches slightly below the ledge, I believe. This is such a reliable kill confirm as well. He tried to get the two frame on the ledge when he went for the side B. When he went to go grab it, he whiffed it. But that's okay, because Charlie jumped right into it again. Right in front of the shield, tried to go for an aggressive option. Kamehameha just went for the safe shield. Forward tilt right out of that. Smacked him out of the uh, game number one. Yo, shout outs to Crass Buto for following 2G Gaming. Yep, got those notifications for the follows even. I, I thought I was reading a subscription notification there for a second. I was like, oh, okay. I thought so too, actually. <laughs> hey, wait, should, I, should I thank every single person that follows 2G Gaming? Yes, let us do exactly that. All, what is it? I don't know. I, I don't even remember how many followers 2G has right now. It's like 800,000, something like that. Yo, I'm Chobo. Also with the follow, thanks so much. They have at least two followers. Yes, we know they have at least two followers. Exactly. Uh, let's go into town and city for this game number two. Kamehameha playing off to just a really strong start here. Honestly, if you ask me who's going to win this tournament that's in attendance today, he's probably the one I'd like bet money on. Mm -hmm. You want to bet money right now? <laughs> I got 20 bucks. No, I'd, I'd rather throw not. That out there? I, I, I agree with you. Let's go oh, with okay, that. Oh, okay. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah, as yeah. you should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very interesting, too, because we, we flew him out here because he's a Mega Man main, but uh, we haven't seen that yet. <laughs> We've seen a Wario right now, so. Anyways, he's doing still phenomenally well with it, but let's see. Charlie the King has to get back to center stage somehow. Finally does it, 
And now he's able to start some aggression here. Got the juggles into the back air, puts him off stage. Noticing they're going for the bike, throwing him back off stage. I like the attempt to just try to throw the bike against Charlie DeKing while he's grabbing onto the ledge out there, because that can lead into some really big gimps. And again, we're just dragging him across the stage bit again and again. Good setup, looking for a kill here. Down air, catches the recovery, and just like that, Wario just capitalizing, but he just spawns right back in, gets a kill, get him out of there. Mm -hmm. That was really smart positioning for Common Man. He just stayed on the top platform and just recognized, okay, you're not going to recover high, so I might as well just go cover with a very long-lasting hitbox as well, going to be able to get the kill. But, you know, Angel Invincibility, uh, very, very strong in this game because you can't cross up on your opponents uh, just by walking through them anymore. So oh you have to be a little bit more careful about how you get back to center stage. This stage pressure coming out from Kamei is out of control. You saw him just dancing around Charlie the King's shield on that platform. And again, every time he gets him off stage, it's a space he's recovery, right? And Kamehameha is capitalizing on Charlie the King. Wherever he goes to that side B, up B, he has an answer for it. Okay, trying to space out these back airs, finding his mark. Nair, even though he gets Ooh. a parry, there we go. A second parry is going to be able to give him that waft. Spart on him, dude. He's going to smell for a week after that one. Yeah, after that first parry, I think that Charlie should have been a little bit more careful. Like, okay, he's got the timing of the Nair down, but that second one was just a little bit too late, and then Kamehameha just knew exactly what he wanted to get out of it. And now Kamehameha could try to play around this lead. I mean, he's got 96%, two stocks to one. Still at high percent. Charlie's not, you know, out of this fight just yet. He waits for the neutral get up off the ledge. Forward smashes him, and just like that, evening up the game. And th this could be Charlie's opportunity to mm -hmm. try to take a game and steal momentum away from Kamehameha. Yeah, he's got to be careful. I mean, Waft is reset, so he doesn't have to worry about that trump card too much, but it still can be deadly if the minutes decide to go back farther and farther. Oh, man, that was really low. But he did a neutral air dodge on a directional one, so he's going to be safe. Yeah, See, that, almost, it back, though. that almost looked like an SD. Could have been devastating. There we go. Good, going for the forward tilt. One more time. We cover too low. Maybe he thought he had a double jump, but Kamehameha is going to take that victory. Yeah. Two to zero and move on into winners semis. We're gonna be finding off some the best three of five sets later on. But here in the quarters, man, we, we got we got we got to get going, man. Yeah.